more in the internet. Time for another craft project. A friend of mine has just bought her first house, so I've promised her a housewarming gift. I asked what kind of colours she liked and she said make it rainbow. That's something I can work with. I'm thinking I'll probably make a couple of cushion covers. I quite like the idea of playing around with some bargello. That's a technique I've never tried before. I'm not sure how well it will work on the small scale of a cushion, but it's worth a try. So what I'm thinking is there's six colours in the pride flag version of the rainbow. We'll make it an 18 inch cushion which means about three inches of each colour and what I want ideally to get is sort of a finished kind of curve. Now I could Oh, or sort of waving like a flag. That would be interesting if I could figure out how to do that. Yeah, I could sort of wave like a flag. I'm not entirely sure how to get the shapes of a bargello to work, but that's something I'll figure out as I go. I think the idea is you have kind of wider strips where you want it relatively flat and then you you sort of go narrower as you get into the steep bits and then widen out again. I don't know what I do want to do with these areas. I'd use a background colour, but that seems a little bit too literal of the flag. Maybe I'll just like have the colour loop round. Seeing as I've never done Bajalo before, I think this is just going to be, however it turns out, that's how it's going to be. I don't think I'm going to try and get that background colour in. I'm going to have a three inch strip of each colour finished. I could, I could either do two, make that one three inch into two one and a halfs or three ones. One inch seems really tiny. And if I'm going one inch, that might look weird on the bits where I need the wide strips. Two inch strips which will give me one and a half inch finished. I'll give me three inch finished, yes, so let's go with this one. Too many colours. Somehow I've got to narrow this down to just 12 colours instead of like the 40 something I've got on my table. Well I sort of narrowed it down. That's not 12, that's 18. I'm going to have to make them 1 inch squares rather than 1 and a half inch because it really needs the full 18 colours to blend nicely. Whenever I cut it down to 12 it just didn't work as well. So those are the colours I'm going to go with. I'm hoping they've all got enough fabric in them for me to get enough strips out of because some of them are pretty small scraps but hopefully it will work. Because I haven't done Bargello before I don't know like getting the height of each strip is pretty easy because that's going to be 18 inch no matter what. I'm not sure what widths to make the strips because they have to be cut into pieces and then sewn back together again and it kind of depends on how many cuts I make as to how much they get, how much seam allowance they lose. So I think if I assume that on average I'm going to have one inch wide strips that means I need to add half an inch for every inch of every strip so that means I'm going to need to add 9 inches overall. So we need the, the strips to be a 27 inches long. I might have to do multiple strips.
sew these into strip sets. So that's the strip sets sewn. Now I think what I have to do next is turn that into a tube because the idea being that you split the seam at a different seam each time so that the colours rotate. I have watched videos on how to do butter and I've just never done it myself. Why not just make it up as you go along? How hard can that be? So I decided to plan this out a little bit because I wanted to know how many of what size strips to cut and think a bit about how to make the curves look smooth. It's taken me a bit to get my head around the logic of how Bargello works. Varying those widths is going to make the nice smooth continuous curve but the change in height is always just one inch because that's the width of each strip on my on my strip sets. I think this curve is going to work. I've got some really tiny strips here that will be quarter inch wide sewn so that's going to be interesting but I think I can do it. So I think I know how many strips I need to cut of the different sizes. I think the only thing I can do is dive in and start. strips because there's no going back now. So now I just need to lay these out. with how this is working. That is going to look so good. So now I just need to sew it all back together again. That won't take long. idea was it to have such tiny strips? I am so pleased with how that's turned out. I think that looks really good. So now I'll need to quilt it. Not quite sure how yet, maybe just with some big swirly lines kind of vaguely following the the line of the Bargello and then turn it into a cushion. I've got these two strips they're still loops left over that I didn't use in it and 
a little bit more on this one, I could probably cut another thin strip. So I'm thinking for the other cushion, I want to make the other one a lot plainer. So I'm thinking I might just make a mainly black background with some stripes across it or something. Let me do some measurements and some calculations and I'll see what I can do with that. something here I think I'm just going to use a black background and just have three columns of the rainbow stripes down it pleased how these cushions turned out. I just put a quick black binding on them and the backs are just a simple envelope opening. That's what I do for most of my cushions because it's easiest and zips are hard. <laughs> this one is just leftovers of the Bargello and I think it looks really effective and a great way to use up the leftovers. Because this one's a lot simpler, I did a little bit more elaborate quilting. I did a couple of sort of freeform feathers up the sides. And as I always do with feathers, I ended up making them too close to the edges. So some of the, the feather got caught in the binding, but I think it still looks good. And of course the Bargello, which considering it was my first attempt, I'm really proud of it. I, I like how it turned out didn't know what I was doing and was just making it up as I went along but it worked. Definitely would not recommend going down as small as I did with the strips of the Bargello. It looks really effective but yeah that was hard work. I hope you've enjoyed watching my design process again. If you want to learn how to do Bargello properly there are a ton of tutorials out there. I probably should have followed one of them. I really hope that the recipient's going to enjoy these. I think she will. I think I have fulfilled the brief of rainbows. <laughs> I'm really pleased how they turn out. I think they look great together. They're obviously a pair, but not identical, which is what I was going for. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Ka kite internet.